hello and welcome to the show. I am here today on Just Cause 3 with a challenge. And that challenge is to get this old, terrible camper van from, I believe, the highest point in the game. Right at the top of a very snowy mountain. We're going to try and get this from up here down to sea level without exploding it. Now, of course, I can get Rico down very quickly using a wingsuit and a parachute and so on, but getting a camper van down there is going to be a serious challenge. The views from up here are absolutely staggering. It is an incredible, it is an incredible world in Just Cause 3. But my challenge today is simply get a camper van down a mountain. Now, I am trying to determine the best course of action. I think our best bet is to probably go this way. Our best bet is to probably go down that way somewhere. Now, we have got to be aware there is a military base over that side you may have caught a glimpse of. We don't want to go and irritate the military base. It would be bad having military bringing jets and helicopters after my little camper van when I've already got enough troubles as it is trying to drive it down here anyway. Now what I do have at my disposal are the tethers and they are probably going to be invaluable in getting this thing down. At least I'm hoping I can, uh, can, can, can use them. This is not the weakest of the vehicles which is going to come in really handy for this particular sort of a, sort of a challenge. Uh, so yeah, if... It's inevitably going to get kind of knocked against walls and so on. Right, we've gone... <laughs> that's that. That's the distance we've travelled so far. Now, perhaps that's not even the best way of getting it down. Uh, hmm. How are we going to get this... Uh, <laughs> how on earth are we going to get this down? I mean, to be fair, if we could run it down this sort of slope here, that would kind of, kind of work. Okay. I'm kind of, if we sort of aim for almost down there by that lake, but this bit here does not look too bad almost. There's a little bit of a road down there we could kind of possibly use, but we have to get... It's a long, it's a long arduous journey just to get to that piece of road. So, right, if we get reel that forward... Now, I'm hoping that that is going to catch it. There we go. That is kind of what we wanted to do here. Oh, no, Rico, don't go falling over now. That would be a bad way to uh, bad way to start. Uh, I've already lost my camper van. Camper van, where have you gone? Have I already fallen? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's a bigger drop. When, when it's down here, that is a bigger drop than I was expecting. Now, we've got to time this really well. I, I'm hoping that if I go V, we can release that tether and then catch. Ha-ha! Caught it! <laughs> And are we going to land on our wheels at any point? No, okay, that works though. Okay, right, as, as a method of getting this down, that will... Oh crap, no, we're going to fall down the mountain on our own here. <laughs> okay, but that does work. So we could have that connected there, and then we can go boosh and release. Oh Christ, okay, that's uh, it's in a hole anyway. So that's fine, right, camper van is nice and safe in the hole. Didn't quite get the timing so well. This careful now. I have got the upgraded tethers, so it does tend to fling stuff miles. No, don't break my camper van. Don't break my camper van. Okay, now we're going to want to try and pull that out there. And then let go of the tether, release it there, swing it down a little bit more. Careful, please don't explode the thing. Right. Oh, nope. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Emergencies. <laughs> Okay, right, we can't really do the whole the whole quick moving bit very well. Oh, it's snowing now. It's all Christmassy. Uh, okay, so we want to do... Oh, I don't know what's going to happen here if I press V. Hopefully it doesn't release Rico's tether. No, it doesn't. Right, so if we just do little drops down here... Oh, God. That camper van. If it does survive this, I will be amazed. Um... Okay, actually, all we have to do is, I guess, kind of perhaps even just do really little drops like this so we don't cause it too much stress banging against the wall. We are abseiling with a camper van. Only in Just Cause 3 can you abseil a camper van down the side of a mountain. <laughs> there are flaws to this game, but it is damn good fun. Right, uh, release that one, quickly tether it again. This is actually working better than I expected. I will be honest, there is quite a lot of snow now. Oh Christ, we're jumping so far down here. Um, okay, and again, let's nose this one. I know I'm going to balls it up eventually and it's just going to go plummeting down and explode. To be fair, if we can get it on this snowy bit here by that deer, 
That does not look... That kind of looks passable. That looks drivable, almost. So this, this is the worst... Definitely the worst bit of the uh, of the mountain here. Right, and released... Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that was, Camper, but should, we'll, I'll, I'll take it. Either way, you're still going downhill and you're not smoking yet. So... Either way, it kind of works for me and stops you very, very quickly. Catch it. Oh, there we go. We smacked out the windscreen a little bit. I think the windows have taken... Uh, yeah, they're just a little bit scratched. Knowing just causes vehicles, though, it's amazing that it survived this much, to be honest. Ooh! No! Catch it! Oh, dear. That's not good. I tethered it to itself, so it fell down the mountain really quite quickly. Amazingly, though... <laughs> Look at it. It's still in one piece. It's still almost in a drivable piece as well. Now, what we're going to do is we kind of want to bring it over this way. So we're going to release it from that tether, catch it over here, and then drag. Ow! Campervan attacked me. Oh, well, okay. I didn't quite foresee that. It, it, it's, I've got so much sort of thrust on the uh, tethers now that, uh, yeah, it's very, very easy for it to get flung incredibly quickly. Okay. Camper van, come on, get it back on your wheels now. Oh, okay, now we don't want to do anything too stupid here, now that we have got it down here. The blizzard is also not massively helping, but there we go. So if we release the tether, aha, fantastic news. We are not rolling down a mountain. Can we tip it over? Ha ha, it's working. Oh, nearly worked, nearly worked. Hold on, bring it back, bring it back up here. Okay, are we on a flatter ground? Uh, almost. If we release the tether, we might actually be able to get in it. Ha ha. <laughs> We've made it some way down the mountain. This is good news. Progress is being made. Uh, uh, Travelling down the mountain. The, the, the deer is just is minding his own business. He's not bothered. Probably doesn't never seen a camper van uh, <laughs> living up here. We've still got five kilometres to go. This is a... <laughs> of just cause three journeys, five kilometres is not exactly long. But we are got nearly five kilometres. Probably most of that is vertically as well down downhill now the issue with being in the vehicle is if things go wrong i do not really have much i can do uh, i can jump on the roof but the chances are if things are going wrong if i jump out to try and get on the roof of this to try and tether it to something the chances are it's going to be long gone before i can actually do anything about it so yeah uh being inside the vehicle is quite scary although if it does roll over at any point i mean it's already rolled over a number of times if it does roll over we do of course have the tethers to save it and well i am well experienced in the uh, the rolling overs of, of vehicles oh good god brakes are not holding this anymore we are accelerating and there is nothing I can do to stop it. But this is quite a nice wide open area. So I'm alright with just flying this down here. And then we can use this... We can fire it up here to try and slow it down again. And that could have gone a lot worse. Uh, <laughs> right. That was a steep bit of cliff that we went down. Uh, it's not quite as steep as the opening sheer drop that I had to abseil it down. But that was pretty steep. I'm glad we had like this big opening bit here for it to, to use to slow down. We didn't have to use any rocks and crash it into anything to uh, slow the camper down. Okay, now this is starting to look a little less friendly through uh, this part. Oh, well, these rocks are explodable. It's very useful when there are explodable rocks here. Oh, also it looks like the, the path is clearing for us. Oh, Christ, we're, we're again... I've got. I've lost all control of the camper van. Oh, uh oh. We're now. We we really are starting to rock it now. Uh oh. Trees are coming. We're at 200 kilometers an hour. We're on the brakes though, and we have. I don't know which way is forward anymore. <laughs> How are we? Uh, apparently that was the furthest jump I've done. How am I alive even anymore? I don't know. I don't even know where I am. We've found ourselves in some more snow. It's very very pretty out here. Um, okay. We're good. I don't need new underwear whatsoever after that little uh, escapade. <laughs> we got to 200 kilometers an hour in a camper van with absolutely no control of it whatsoever. That's fine. I don't know how I stopped it either. It is a miracle that we got this slowed down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to go over this way. Yes, we will. We will We will head over to this lovely, wide, open, snowy area. This looks nice and safe compared to where we were a minute ago. Right, how are we doing progress, War Rise? Wise, Rise? Who cares anymore? I've got a camper van on the side of a mountain. I've kind of lost the ability to English. Um, we're also picking up some more speed. That's not too bad. It's not too steep down this part. 
Where are we going? Oh, I think we've actually kind of now made it towards that road towards the... Well, I said... <laughs> I don't really want to go that way. That's like... Well, the, first of all, that's going the wrong direction. That's going up. Also, this thing is so underpowered. Would it even get up that road? That looks like a very, very steep road. Ho, oh, oh, ho, brakes, brakes. Thank you, car, for slowing down there. Um... Right, we've not got much of an option here, really. We're going to have to go down this path. I say path, this open bit, and kind of take us towards the road there. Uh, it's, fortunately, we have just about got sufficient brakes. God dear, the, uh, <laughs> the braking is the scariest aspect. And, yeah, I thought the abseiling it down was going to be a little bit more difficult. It actually, That was actually relatively straightforward compared to trying to uh, balance the brakes and get it slowed. The thing is, I don't actually want to follow this road because I don't want to go up again. I don't particularly want to go... Uh, to be fair, it's actually not as bad as I thought over this way, but we will have to go down some more. We've got, to, we've got a long way down to go, and I don't just want to sit on the roads. The sitting on the roads would be boring, so we're going to uh, try and go as best we can, the crow flies, towards that uh, location. We'll probably have to will... Yeah, we'll probably have to skirt around that lake at some point. This is holding up remarkably well. Often whenever I do one of these silly challenges that uh, <laughs> I take a vehicle that really shouldn't work and it always surprises me and then when I take a vehicle that should work for something it doesn't that tends to be the way far stuff goes and this is really doing quite well uh, oh okay and um, we may have to uh, we're I've not got any control of it anymore it's just going away is going a way and uh, it's not necessarily the way that I wanted it to but never mind uh, <laughs> We're fighting the camera ever so slightly with all of this. Uh, do we want to go... We probably want to go down, to be honest. We can go that way. Yeah, there's that dirt path down there. Let's go. Let's aim for the dirt path. If we can stick to the dirt path, that would be a good idea. Oh, and down. And on the brakes we go again. Yeah, this is quite a... Uh, <laughs> quite a steep route to be taking a camper van really and again i'm really i'm just waiting for it to suddenly decide it wants to go Ooh, okay or it can go around in a circle oh cry i don't again i'm not sure which way i'm pointing through this uh, oh now we're starting to pick up speed and I, okay now we've, we're still just about got the braking force to keep it that no, we did have the braking force i've lost it the bush kind of gave us some more braking force which was useful and we've got some doors hanging off slightly cracked windscreen Ah, look at that. We've made it kind of to a safer area again. That dirt path is coming up. How do we navigate towards that? Uh, yeah, if we just keep going, I think it just keep going this way. I'm just waiting for there to be a sudden drop as well. Oh, uh, no. Bouncing off rocks is bad. Bouncing off rocks is really bad. Oh, good God. Uh, there's some more rocks to play with. Uh, ooh. <laughs> okay, never mind. We can just bully the rocks into submission. Yeah, that's totally how it works, honestly. Okay, yeah, we can roll it down here. Shouldn't be too problematic. And just skidding it around in the mud up here. This is an interesting dirt path we have found ourselves uh, heading towards. Oh, uh, we're still good. We're still... <laughs> we're still making pretty good progress on our way down here. And voila! We found, apparently, the route that it wants us to take. I'm not sure whether I'm going to stick on it the entire way. But, um, I probably won't be sticking on it the entire way, because, oi, okay, no, it's fine. We can go through that sort of tree. Uh, because that's kind of, of looping over that direction, and I don't really want to go that direction. Uh, especially when we can, oh, no, I think it's actually probably looped around down here. But seeing if we can go in a straight line, I'll take the, I'll take the quick, quickest option. Oh, and, da -da -da -da, oh, ah, right, okay, I foresee why we probably don't want to go this way. Because it doesn't look like there is, uh very much sort of, I was kind of hoping to skirt along the, the lake, but it doesn't really look like there's much of a lake, there's not sort of much of a, a coastline to skirt along on that, uh, that lake. We've still got, <laughs> we've only made two kilometres, it's been almost 15 minutes, and we've only made two kilometres. Oh Christ, and we have not got any steering at 80 miles an hour. Okay, camper van, are we good? Are we happy? We're now climbing back uphill. Okay, well, we are making progress we're going a direction now my slight concern is that um we may have to climb back over something apparently i destroyed an enemy jet that's quite impressive work considering i'm currently minding my this is quite a cool little uh, make a great rally stage we have found ourselves like a fantastic little rally road 
that we have uh, have found ourselves on. And to be fair, probably the worst of the danger is behind us. The actual getting down from the very top bit. Uh, fared a lot easier. The abseiling bit we, we got through and then the rest of it we managed to run it down there and I didn't actually have any massive panicky moments. The bigger panicky moments are here where I'm actually taking a bit of speed and well the control is, is somewhat lacking in a uh, in a camper van. Uh, again I'm not going to be sticking to the road uh, primarily because if I can go quickly, oh hey, hello there, uh, if we can go quickly down this way we might be able to get to the coast quicker than you know following the proper path to find the settlement or whatever so however I can get to the coast the quickest I will take. Apparently it is not this way. Uh, is that, that, that kind of looks like the ocean to me down there doesn't it? Oh and on the brakes we go again and um, yeah I mean this looks very much like the uh, the the sea is kind of a military a military base. I'll take it either way though. I mean, <laughs> if we I didn't quite fall down the mountain in the way that I was initially aiming for to to, a, to end up over there. Either way, I mean we get we'll get to, we've got to uh, we've got to sea level. Although we may have to do a little bit more abseiling down this final bit. Uh, perhaps I don't really want to end up in a combat zone. That might not be an ideal an ideal way to end for this poor camper van. It deserves better than that, I think. Uh, not that it's going to... Uh-oh. <laughs> ah. Okay. Small issue. Small issue. Apart from the frame rate pooing itself, the small issue is that uh, we are wedged on a tree. Now, if we can just tow that out slowly... Right, okay, window may have ever so slightly closed on the game. We're back though, we've got it back. Uh, camper van, I've got it free of the tree that it's currently stuck in. Uh, fast, you know, this might, this might work. If we release the tether, and then there we go. Right, we are navigating, so we can't get, we can't afford to get it stuck on a tree. This thing here is still so steep that uh, we don't have enough power to reverse the thing. Oi, hello there army dudes. <laughs> we don't have enough power to reverse uphill, so if we get it stuck on a tree, we are, well, we are wedged, basically. Um, but we are, ah, crap, the whole thing's a combat zone. Bugger, I should not have, I should not have perhaps gone this way. It was a foolish, foolish move. I was kind of hoping there's going to be a bit somewhere that, uh, that wasn't a combat zone. Oh, come on. Come on, camper van. You've been through a lot worse than this already today. We can make this little... There we go. You can climb over that. <laughs> I mean, we laugh at its lack of power. But it's proving its worth. It's... <laughs> I would not have thought it would have got through all of all of these trials that it is still going. It's still off-roading and climbing over some rocks. And just about climbing over some bushes as well. Uh, look at these. GTA 5 could learn a thing or two. Look at this. We can go through bushes and everything doesn't suddenly stop or spin around in a circle or fall over. Okay, it's lovely. It's lovely to be able to go through the bushes. Right, I think we can probably now start making our way down to the uh, to the coast. It does look like we may have to do a little bit of abseiling towards the finish. I'll just get a little further away from the base. Now that we're out of the the worst of, uh, oop, of the forest as well. Oh... Uh, now, how are we going to be able to get down here cleanly? Are we going to be able to get down here controlled is the big thing. Uh, to be fair, I think the mountain was steeper. Oh, okay, that bit there is quite steep. There is, is quite a steep drop. But, no, nope, we're going to be around there fine. Drive towards the beach. And the camper van is going to have made it all the way from the top of the tallest mountain... Uh, in the snow, we abseiled it down, we panicked and kind of slid our way down. It has made it to sea level. <laughs> it's done it! The camper van has made it from all the way up there somewhere. I think it's even higher than that peak that we can see. To the ocean. <laughs> that is really rather cool. It made it, it's not even smoking. It is a little bit banged up. It's seen slightly better days. But it has made it all the way from the top of the mountain to the beach. Well, there we go. Some more surprises from these silly vehicles. Asked to do stupid things and it copes with everything. That is it though for this, uh, for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.